Hey there everyone, here we are back with another video. Today we're going to have a look at CW Skimmer, one of the coolest pieces of software I think there is. Blasphemy, according to some people, but it is what it is. I like it. I like software integration. That's why I do a lot of videos on this kind of on this kind of stuff. So uh, let's get on with it. So once you get your hands on Skimmer, uh, let's have a look. See, you can download it from here in the free software, but you have to pay for it. And uh, I think uh, they give you a, uh, I think they give you a trial period. I'm not 100% sure. I have it a long time, so I can't remember. And uh, shows you some screenshots on the website there. So you'll get that on the dxatlas.com website. So let's close that. So uh, right, we have Skimmer here. And uh, once you get Skimmer up and running, uh, the first place you need to go is in here into your settings and uh, we will have a look now in the case of the 7300 we have to run it on the three kilohertz radio um, you can't get it to work on the uh, you can't get it to work on the 12 kilohertz setting i think that's only for like the flex or a nanan or something like that so but it's good enough uh, for what it is so um we take the three kilohertz box and uh that's okay so if we go into audio then uh, in my case, uh, you can see in the drop down menu here, I have uh, line in, I have my webcam, uh, real tech high definition microphone, uh, but I'm feeding the audio in from the radio via USB. So that's what I have ticked there. Um, this audio volume here is to do if you're um, using the sound card to output the 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 sound from skimmer itself which is quite handy um, when you're using headphones and stuff like that we'll get to that in a minute so the volume level for that even though it's grayed out here it it is adjustable so we'll put it back there where we had it and you need to have this one ticked here the left right iq and um, if you don't have that ticked uh, and you have the bottom one ticked the audio can be a little bit choppy so um, that's just the way it is so into your cat connection then um, because I have Omni rig which we've covered in a previous video if I click configure uh, the Omni rig window will appear so it's configured to those settings there so we we'll just click OK on Omni rig uh, miscellaneous uh, you can select the IARU region you're in or USA WRL or Canada or CW contest or whatever the case may be uh, you can set here how many decodes that it will actually run uh, it says 400 there but <laughs> I don't know um, operator you can put in all your details here your call first name QDH grid square etc uh, you can link this to a telnet cluster where any of the calls that uh, appear in the call list here will be automatically uploaded to um, the cluster and calls then um you want this on aggressive so what this means is it will be very sure before it puts the call here that the call is actually correct um aggressive is kind of the best setting to have it on if you put it on minimal or normal it, it'll fill up this call sign window with all sorts of junk so uh, that's the uh, settings uh, taken care of so how do we start skimmer um, we go here to this start stop radio and we click that and skimmer starts running and uh, let's just have a little listen I'm listening via the radio there now at the moment so it's a CQ uh, FOC contest that's going on you can see here when we have the little green arrow here at the call sign if we click on that we can go and listen to him And uh, a handy thing you'll see, um, we'll just let this run for a few minutes and uh, you should see some of them popping up. If you're looking for a DX station and you're not particularly sure where he's listening, we see here with the 599, there's another one after appearing. If the DX station is operating on split and you watch for where these 599s are appearing above the receive frequency that you're listening on, that's a pretty good indicator to where he's listening because the 599 it's uh, it's programmed to, to pick up 599 and there's a pretty good chance that that frequency is where he's listening 
so uh, that's that uh, so anywhere you see the little green arrow here if you click on that it'll, it'll QSY to there and it'll start decoding which is uh, quite cool right so what else can we do here if I kill the volume on the radio oh, I just need to make a little adjustment here uh, where are we desktop audio I'm gonna up that a little bit now so let's uh, pick this guy here now once the window you're anywhere here in the window I just turn that hang on anyway um, you can hear the audio there the, the, the microphone will be picking it up so once you're anywhere in this window you have this green line here which is a filter so what you can do is you can roll the mouse wheel and you can go from 700 hertz right down to 20 which is very very handy so if you're uh, if you have that set on the dx and you can wind it right down that you're here in the dx and nothing else it's uh, it's very very handy that way and you can just plug your headphones into your pc and away you go so uh, what else are we here you can record what you're listening to here i'll just mute that you can uh, record that uh what you're listening to here by hitting this button and it'll save it to a file in the folder your speaker on off uh this is the noise blanker and the anti-click which i have engaged this is for the frequency scale here if you see here it's it's in frequency and if i click that it'll change it to like kc plus one plus two plus three and um that's that the settings we covered uh this is the call sign list which you can put anywhere on the screen it will keep them in there until you end the session and uh that's that there is a band scope on it let me just pull that up you go into view band scope and uh let's move that down a bit there's the band scope there and it's point and click as well so you can qsy that way you can see the frequency changing on the display there it's not a very elaborate looking band scope it's uh it's like a video game from the 1980s really but it it gets the job done i don't really use it that function to be honest but it's there if you wish uh, what else is here in view uh, you can go in and change waterfall settings here like you can adjust the contrast see there's where the gamma that is brightness you can change all that stuff to whatever you want that's up to yourself you can even go in and change the colors uh, I don't like looking at that though I think it's nasty so there we are that's that you can see him he's uh, it's decoding nicely there it won't decode every qso 100 percent, but you'll get 85 90 percent the gist of what's going on so uh, it's very handy that way and uh, let's see some of the other settings that are along the top here are repeated in here so you can uh, you can bring them up there as well uh, as i said to everybody with software have a good dig around in the help file and uh, everything you need to know is in there so have a good read in that uh, particularly in in your configuration and your user interface and stuff like that so it's quite involved there's a lot of stuff in there help file should be the first place you go with any new piece of software you get so pretty much that's cw skimmer in a nutshell i really like this software i think it's uh i think it's something kind of special you know and uh there you have it so thanks for watching and uh, we'll get you again very soon in another video and uh seven three for now bye bye